so the next topic is your probability of error of your bfsk system so one of the question asked is derive the expression for for error probability of bfsk it is asked for 8 marks from january 2020 question paper okay so what is the prerequisite what you have to know uh, you have to uh, know about the uh, decision diagram or your uh, signal space representation which we have seen in the previous video okay so starting off with let x of t be the received bfsk uh, signal which is given by what will be your x of t your signal plus your noise from the channel right so x of t is equal to s of t plus w of t i can again elaborate it x is equal to s1 of t plus w of t for symbol 1 and s2 of t plus w of t for symbol 0 where what is your w of t it is the additive white gaussian noise having mean is equal to 0 and variance sigma square is equal to n0 divided by 2 now what are we considering assumption right second step is we will be um, assuming let us consider the transmission symbol 0 was transmitted okay then what will be your received signal x of t will be equal to s2 of t plus w of t what will be the output of the top of the correlator the output of top of the correlator you uh, top you had x1 and bottom you had x2 right so what will be your uh, top of the correlator output x1 will be equal to 0 to tb x of t into phi 1 of t into dt so what is your instead of x of t what you are assuming s2 of t is transmitted right so you can substitute instead of x of t s2 of t plus w of t into phi 1 of t into dt so you can split it again 0 to tb s2 of t into phi 1 of t into dt plus 0 to tb w of t into phi 1 of t into dt so what is your uh, coefficient here here it is 2 1 right so x1 i can write it as s2 1 so this is going to be your s2 1 plus this term i have taken it as noise w1 now what will be your value for s21 the coefficient if i is equal to j you had the value as root eb and if i not equal to j sij was equal to 0 right that is what it is written here again x1 is equal to 0 plus w1 let us take this as equation 1 similarly we are going to find out the output of the bottom correlator okay okay before this let us find out the mean mean of ex1 is equal to uh, 0 right the noise mean is also equal to 0 what will be your variance of x1 variance of x1 is your variance of w1 as we have seen in the previous uh, uh, types okay so it is given as n0 divided by 2 now what will be the output of the bottom correlator bottom correlator x2 is equal to 0 to tb x of t into phi 2 of t into dt instead of x of t you are substituting again the value s2 of t plus w of t into phi 2 of t into dt now cross multiply it inside 0 to tb s2 of t into phi 2 of t into dt plus 0 to tb i have skipped that step you can write it as done in the previous okay 0 to tb phi w of t into phi 2 of t into dt so what will be the first term it will be equal to s2 into phi 2 so it will be equal to s22 that is what written here okay so s22 plus w2 so s i is equal to j when i is equal to j what will be your s i j the value is equal to root e b in the previous video we have seen so x2 is equal to root e b plus w of uh, uh, w2 let me take this as equation 2 now what will be the mean mean is equal to mean of noise equal to 0 right so here in this case it is root e b variance of x2 is equal to what will be the value n0 divided by 2 variance so we have now found out now what is your uh, next step you have found out x1 and x2 output of the correlator will be going to your uh, plus subtractor right so y is equal to x1 minus x2 now you have find you have to find out the value for y okay to find the mean and variance of gaussian, gaussian random variable y whose sample value y is equal to the difference between x1 and x2 so what will be your x, uh, mean mean of e of y is equal to uh, 0 minus root eb so you are getting mean is equal to minus root eb okay so in this case um, expected value of x1 minus expected value of x2 so first case it was 0 second case it was minus here it is minus right e of x2 is e b, root e b so you will be getting expected value of y is equal to minus root e b what will be your expected value of sorry your variance of y here the variance of the random variable y is independent of which binary symbol was sent so you can write variance of y is equal to summation of both the variance variance of x1 plus variance of x2 
what is your variance of x1 sigma square is equal to n0 divided by 2 and for second also it was n0 divided by 2. So n0 by 2 plus n0 by 2 variance of y is equal to n0. Now you have got the mean value and you have got the variance. Can you substitute in your conditional probability density function? Okay. So conditional probability density function what we have assumed? We have assumed symbol 0 was transmitted. So f y of y given 0 transmitted symbol is 0. In general what will be the equation 1 by root 2 pi sigma square variance into e power minus here in this case it is y right y minus mu the whole square divided by 2 sigma square now you are going to substitute the value for mean and variance mean is equal to minus root tb and uh, variance is equal to n0 now what is going to be your uh, value when you substitute f y of y given 0 is equal to 1 by root 2 pi instead of sigma square you have substituted it as n0 e power minus y plus root eb the here mu is equal to root eb right uh, minus root eb right mu is equal to mu is equal to minus root eb so in this equation you have a minus so minus into minus you will be getting it as plus that's why here you have got plus plus root eb the whole square divided by 2 into sigma square which is nothing but your variance so it is n naught okay so this is going to be your generalized equation of your conditional probability density function we have taken this as equation 3 now you have to proceed with the same step which we have done for bpsk and qpsk let p e of 0 denote the conditional probability of deducing in favor of symbol 1 when symbol 0 is transmitted that is your uh, error right when symbol 0 is transmitted you are deciding in favor of 1 so what will be your decision uh, region z1 x is from the 0 to infinity so how will you write p e of 0 is equal to 0 to infinity the area 0 to infinity f y of y uh, given 0 into d y so instead of f y of y given 0 you are substituting the value so p e of 0 will be equal to 0 to infinity 1 by root 2 pi n naught into e power y plus uh, e power minus y plus root e b divided by how did you get here root of 2 n naught here it is 2 n naught right here we have taken it as whole square so root of 2 n naught the whole square which will be equal to 2 n naught that is why you have reconfigured it okay into dy now similarly you are going with the same procedure you are uh, in order to represent it in the terms of in terms of complementary error function as we have seen in your bpsk so you have to take this assume this is uh, z z is equal to z or you you can take it in any, any way I'm, let me proceed with z z is equal to y plus root eb divided by root 2 n naught what will be your dz dz is equal to dy divided by root 2 n naught what will be your dy so what will, uh, dy will be equal to cross multiply this root 2 n naught into dz what will be your limits upper limit y is equal to when y is equal to infinity what will be the value for z z also will be infinity when y is equal to 0 for lower limit what will be your z z will be equal to root eb by 2 n naught i have taken it together root eb by 2 n naught now you are going to substitute the value so reconfiguring what you will be getting p e of 0 is equal to so in terms of uh, uh, complementary error function or you can substitute it what 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 will be your uh, value you are going to replace the this as z right z is equal to lower limit will be equal to root eb by 2 n naught upper limit is infinity 1 by root 2 pi n naught into instead of z you have uh, you instead of minus y plus you are replacing this by z right so e power minus z square instead of dy you have substituted it as root 2 n naught into uh, dz 2 n naught root 2 n naught will get cancelled so what will be the value p e of 0 will be equal to 1 by root pi into i have taken it as constant so here it will be z is equal to root e b by 2 n naught to infinity e power minus z square into dz so now you uh, let me take this as equation 4 now you are going to compare this with that of your complementary error function so in general what will be your complementary error function which is equal to erfc of u is equal to 2 by root pi into u to infinity e power minus u square into du right so if i bring this 2 down so i can write 1 by 2 into erfc of u is equal to 1 by root pi into 
u to infinity e power minus u square into du this is looking similar to that of this right 1 by root pi right this rhs so instead of 1 by root pi i am writing it as it, uh, comparing equation 4 and 5 we can write p e of 0 is equal to 1 by 2 into e r f c of z in this case z i have substituted the value z is equal to root e b by 2 n naught so this is your probability of error of your first kind similarly we can find the probability of your error of the second kind what will be your second kind you are you will assume that symbol 1 is transmitted and decision is taken in favor of symbol 0 right so for second case also it is going to be the same there is no need of deriving so p e of 1 is also equal to 1 by 2 into e r f c root e b by 2 n naught so if the symbols of zeros and uh, symbol zeros and ones are equiprobable then what will be your probability p of 0 p of 1 will be equal to 1 by 2 right so therefore what will be the average probability of error the average probability of error will be equal to p e will be equal to p of 0 into p e of 0 plus p of 1 into p e of 1 okay so it substitute the value p of 0 and p of 1 is 1 by 2 p e of 0 and p e of 1 is 1 by 2 into e r f c root e b by 2 n naught so when you solve this 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 right so you'll be getting p e is equal to 1 by 2 into e r f c of root e b by 2 n naught so this is going to be your probability of error of your BFSK signal. Okay. And you can write in terms of uh, Q function uh, as P E of BFSK will be equal to Q into root E B by N naught. So these are the two equations of your probability of error of your binary frequency shift keying. The notes are available in my telegram channel.